Okay, so look, I got a brand new power shit uh, impact gun, and it works really, really good because it's 620 pounds of torque, is what they, they tell me. And uh, we're trying to take out leaf spring bolts, and it's being a big, big bitch on this thing because it's just the way she goes, so you just got to keep rocking it back and forth, like, so like, put it in and stuff, and then flick it the fucking on. Then we get some action, you got to keep doing that back and forth a whole bunch of times, and then eventually it'll come out, because they're also rotten and, and shitty. So this is the, the Jeep project, probably like the update number one, maybe, or something. So, the plan is today to rip this fucking shitty old uh, rear axle and suspension out of here, because we don't want it no more. So we're just going to unbolt everything and make sure she's free and loose, and then we'll grab the, uh, the skid steer and lift the back of the truck up just like the way the same way we took the axle out of the, the scrap one. Oh and then then we're gonna put that one in there. Probably just set it in and bolt it in, that's all we're gonna do today. Cause that'll be like the, the major part of the work done, other than the stupid ass front suspension. Yeah, because that's gonna suck a big bag of dicks. So I gotta reconnect reconnect these control arms here because we're keeping these and we're keeping this front axle and we're going to use these springs that are already mounted in here because they're the same as those assholes. And then this lower control arm has to be unbolted which is all it's holding this thing in right now and replaced with the tubular one. Yes. Yes. So this is the cheeseburger's Jeep. Oh look there he is with his beard. Okay so I worked it back and forth a few more times and now my my power shit is going to take it out now. Okay, so we're done working at the shop for the day. And we got these fancy new lights for Ryan's Jeep. We're just going to test them out on his car here and see what they do. Just use a fucking negative terminal on the battery, dingus. Oh, it'll reach. Oh, some, something happened. Oh, nice. Not bad, not bad. Cool. Well, let's see, do they blind the fuck out of my eyes? We got four of them, that'll work. Yeah. 55 waters. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, it hurts my eyes, that's yep. good. It'll work. Yay. Yeah, cool. Alright, he's got mega super dick ignition system. Sweet. Ram air. Yes. Ram air, which is no longer working. <laughs> 3500, five speed, bam! JDM. All right, cheeseburger. I'm on my way, buddy. Good day. Gonna get in the, rock the dub. Rock the dub. Okay, so I'm home now, and uh, we went to Princess Auto, like, like you saw, and, and uh, cheeseburger got some lights. So that's cool, and uh, I picked up this uh, test light here, and uh, obviously yesterday I picked up that impact wrench, which is now in, in my car, actually. Um, so that was cool, and then I picked up these mofos right here, some sort of like super grip sort of sockets here for like shitty rounded and uh, garbage bolts, so that's cool. I think the, uh, the theory behind it actually looks like a really great idea and they're on sale for only nine bucks a set so we'll see if they work but I also picked up something else another toy that was on sale and uh, I like because uh, I like to have fun with stuff and uh, because good times are good times and you know so on and so forth so uh, check it out got this here uh, replica whatever kind of gun it's supposed to be it's uh, pretty pretty scale looks to me anyways it's uh the heavyweight, heavyweight, big time, and uh, comes with a couple CO2 cartridges. It's uh, automatic, full automatic, I guess, and uh, comes with 500 BBs. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, what is it? 430 uh, FPS. So that's pretty good. I mean, 430 obviously for uh, for a full charge of the CO2, but uh, as it uh, wears down, it's not going to be as good. But uh, and then uh, let's see, these were four ninety nine, so a dollar each, of course. Same, you know, it's all good, and uh, that's cool. And then here's another package, but it only had three in it because that Princess Auto 
the stuff just kind of hangs up on the shelf and somebody will rip one open and they and they take one or two and then they just put it in their pockets right so this was just kind of hanging there like this and because uh, first I thought fucking you know five dollars for three I said that's that's a pretty shitty deal and then I realized that it was open and that there was two missing so she was like uh, I said well that's that's cool so I'm not I'm not gonna pay for that anyways I'm just gonna reach behind here and grab the full one so that's really neat and then she says well well you know these are no good now so uh, do you want them for a quarter so she uh, she gave them to me for 25 cents for three so that's really good deal good savings and uh, I picked up, uh, what was it, a count, of, a 300 count, 300 of these were like two ninety nine or three ninety nine or something like that, and then 1,500 of them were nine ninety nine. so that's, that's a much better buy, so I bought that instead. So now I'm going to open the package here and uh, check it out, see how, see how much fun it is. Okay, so here we go, you know, other than that part, looks pretty good. That's just a little screw that pushes the CO2 canister up in so that just snaps on for, it's alright for 40 bucks or whatever the special was if I can put it back together there we go so safety's on and uh, yeah let's check it out I've got a cardboard box here which is also stuffed with a bunch of cardboard um, and I just drew a little circle there I don't know if I'm ever gonna if I'm gonna hit it I, I don't think the accuracy is anything on these plastic guns but I guess we'll find out um, yeah my coffee maker is back there and a roll of paper towel but just in case it does make it all the way through I did take the coffee pot out and we'll just place that in the sink here for now and uh, I don't think I really need to worry about the toaster oven Safety's off. This is from, uh, I would say, probably 10 feet. Oh, pretty close. Right there. Right just, just above. So, I kind of aim there. We'll see how many, put the safety back on, of course. See how many we went through here. So, obviously, we went through the first layer. We went through another box. And we go through this one. Yep, through and through there, through there. And we just got the old uh, garbage bag box. How does that look? That should be better than that. There we go, maybe I can actually fucking see it. Okay. And again. Oh, I just ripped my fucking crotch out of my pants. Huh. Oh yeah, right there. Cool. I heard one bouncing on the counter here. Alright ladies and gentlemen, what we what we have here is uh is a typical hater. Okay, this this is a typical hater. And uh I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of him. Wow. Shit's getting intense here. Look at him, look at all his wounds. He's like dying and shit. Well, wow, actually, actually didn't miss his face at all. <laughs> Sweet. I'm all out. So even though not a whole lot of work got done today at the shop, but uh, we did make some good progress. So when you have a good day at the shop, and you come home and you're able to neutralize the assailant, in this case the haters, and you can enjoy a beer, 
That's a nice Sunday afternoon. Well, cheers and beers, guys, and enjoy your week.